Now to the Australian beauty queen going inside one of the country's largest Muslim communities. Like many, she has no real understanding of the Islamic faith or way of life and admits to being terrified about entering a world she knows so little about. Damien Hansen has this story. Behind the veil is one of Australia's most beautiful women. I'm a little nervous, to be honest. The cover girl going deep undercover, embedded in our biggest Muslim enclave. We all live together in harmony, yeah. most of the time, anyway. Everyone, back off! Back off! For many, suburban pockets like Bankstown in Sydney or Coburg in Melbourne are like countries within a country. Their own rules, their own dress code, their own language. Rightly or wrongly, the perception is simple. Non-Muslims aren't welcome here. Today, one person has been granted access to find out for herself. I feel um, a little bit strange, a little bit different. That person, Australia's reigning beauty queen, former Miss Universe Australia, TV star and model, Rachel Finch. It's not true. And it's like nothing she could ever have expected. Oh my God! I feel so cleansed. Okay, cleansed is a good word. No filming, but can we come in and show Rachel? Don't attempt this at home, kids. This is what it's like. There is no doubt that there are two significant um, Muslim communities uh, in Australia from a demographic point of view. One is in the Bankstown through to Lakemba area of southwest Sydney, and the other is in the northern suburbs of Melbourne. Demographer and social commentator Bernard Salt. The Muslim community, like any migrant community, like to congregate where people speak their language, where their churches are located, uh, where there is newspapers, where there are supermarkets that provide their food. Where we invited Rachel down to Bankstown and live a life in the day of uh, the Muslim community. I'm nervous because I've never done anything like this before. We're just normal people living our lives like other Australians in the country. Today, Rachel will be walking in the shoes of Rebecca Kay, a devout Australian Muslim woman and mother of four. Were you born? Here? Yeah, I was born in Australia. Mm -hmm. I'm an Australian background um, and I became Muslim about eight years ago. I found the transition really easy and I found the belief was in my heart. But Rebecca, a former Wollongong surfer girl, has a confession. Before I became Muslim, I was a Muslim hater and I used to listen to talkback radio a lot and have that same kind of attitude and I used to love saying to people, well, if you're not happy here, then you can go back to where you came from. Believing in God and fearing God has taught me to love my fellow human being again and appreciate people for who they are inside their heart, not their skin colour or the way they look on the outside. On the outside, I'm Muslim, but inside I'm extremely Aussie, so what you see is not what you get. Rebecca's best mate, Frida, joins them for their daily coffee ritual. Other people probably think that we're just... Boring, simple, um, we're black. Can't wait for today. I'm so excited to be here. Are we excited to have her? Yeah, Are we going to get a coffee or should we just get into it? Before they can start, Rachel must get the blessing of the Muslim Women's Association. It's important to go and see the Islamic elders before we continue on this journey of the spirituality and introducing Rachel to the Islamic culture and faith. This is one of the areas where um, uh, native Australians, domestic Australians, uh, could learn a lot from migrant communities, the way in which they defer to, um, to the elderly in many, in many cases. A big part of Rebecca's week is the volunteer work at My Home Respite, a community-based respite centre for children with special needs. It's a board of Muslim women mm -hmm. who have decided to start a respite centre for people with special needs. It's just four of them. And, you know, they still make such a huge difference. Lunch at the local favourite Jasmine One is next, and Super Slim Rachel is getting acquainted with her very first Lebanese feast. Can I order um, one fatouche? Yeah, one fatouche. One kabuli. Yeah. Hummus al lahme. Uh, hummus. Which one? Baba ghanoush. Are we going to have fries with that? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Outside the Auburn Gallipoli Mosque, Rachel's physical transformation begins. But it's inside the mosque where she feels different, changed. I feel so cleansed. Okay. As soon as I walked in, there was a sense of peace, mm. um, happiness. I loved it. Thank wow. you. And what would a day with the girls be like without a shopping trip? I wanted to bring you down and show you about um, our Islamic fashion. We've got a lot of dresses and skirts. You want to have... Start trying on some? Yes, please. I'll wait yeah, in the dressing room. Let's do yeah. the Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman thing. Okay. It feels like I'm putting my swimming cap on. Thank God, you know, it's it's getting away from the blacks mm. and getting away from the boring colours. Can we do some shopping? How about that? I feel different, yeah. obviously, but yeah, <laughs> it's it's amazing. Oh my God! <laughs> Elegant, 
elegant, it's tasteful. Yeah. You don't do anything without bling. Oh, the first day that you wore a scarf and you converted, did you feel weird walking down the street? Yeah. Um, a little bit yes and no because it's Bankstown and like that's what people, you know, it's not uncommon things to be seen with. I've often had so many people comment me on the way I'm dressed saying, oh wow, you know, where did you get that from? Now what are we having tonight? At home and Rebecca is getting dinner prepared. We have people over all the time. Really? It never ends. A lot of kids, they all play together, it's really loud. And don't say no. No. If I say to you, you're hungry and you want to eat something, it's always if a I yes. say it three times, it's better be a yes on the third time. Rebecca's husband Albert is home. Well, we've been looking after the kids for you. Um, we just we just need a man to start the barbie. Yeah, well, I'm sure one will come soon. <laughs> Next is my house. And Rachel is getting a crash course in barbecue, Lebanese style. Guys. Thank you so much for having me today and Rebecca, thank you so much for showing me around. It was absolutely beautiful and welcoming it, me into your home. I wish that everyone could be like you and so warm no. and open and minded and you know, we hope that this something good comes from this story. I think that uh, the experiment with Rebecca shows that this is very much uh, the way of the future. I think with an open and tolerant mind uh, on both sides that uh, we can actually fuse something that's quite enviable uh, in comparison with the rest of the world. It was nice to be able to step inside her shoes and see that those stereotypes of Australian Muslim women aren't particularly true. At the end of the day, we're all Australian, no matter what colour our skin is or what we believe in or what our backgrounds are, that, you know, we're all just fair dinkum dinky die Aussies. They're intelligent, they're smart, they're independent, they want a career and they want a family and to me that's empowering.